What's up? What's up? What up? Thank you. <laughs> Best of the fest, man. We made it. How's everybody feeling? Good? Good. good. I'm real excited to be here. I'm from Illinois. It's good to see people out in public again, you know? Two years we were trapped in the house. It got so bad I started answering the phone for bill collectors just to have some human interaction. <laughs> I hate bill collectors. The only thing I hate more than bill collectors is those automatic payments. Right? You wake up, money already gone. It's like, damn, I guess I'm eating Spotify for breakfast today. <laughs> I'm broke. I'm so broke. Last month I tried to pay my rent with gift cards. <laughs> I got one of those remote jobs, but I got fired because every time I put the customer on hold song for my mixtape would play. <laughs> I guess they don't like that. I'm not the only one that was struggling though. You know, I, right when the pandemic started, I saw a bank robbery but he couldn't go in, so he tried to do it from the drive-thru. <laughs> he wrote, give me the cash on a slip of paper and sent it up the tube. <laughs> I've been sitting in my room, watching TV, watching the news. I hate the news, especially the morning news. The morning news is the only show that starts by saying good morning and then spends an hour telling you why it's not. <laughs> they had us all freaking out. You know, they told us we had to get vaccinated. You know, then the Johnson and Johnson. I saw the the they had the representative for Johnson and Johnson who was on and he was like, Yeah, our vaccine might kill you, but if you get it in your eye it won't burn. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching an alien documentary. You guys believe in aliens? Yeah. yeah. I do too. I believe in aliens. I don't believe in alien abductions. You know? Could you ever have to pick someone up and drop them off? I just, I don't see them doing that, you know? <laughs> like they don't ask for gas money or nothing. They... <laughs> Yeah, it's my first time in California, so I'm having a good time. I went to the dispensary. Thank you. She wanted to clap. Go ahead, clap for me. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I went to the dispensary, and the, the girl was real nice. She was helpful. She was like, we got a new strain. It's called Ray Charles. I was like, I don't want none of that. I got to drive. <laughs> I'm trying to get home. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Illinois. I live, uh, like, on the border of Wisconsin right now. And, and uh, if you've never been there, the best way I can describe it is you might see a pickup truck with a Confederate flag, even though the license plates say Land of Lincoln. It's, it's confusing. <laughs> yeah, no, I live in the suburbs. Lots of white people. First of all, I don't like to use the word white. I don't feel like it's politically correct, so we'll say, um, I live by a bunch of European Americans. <laughs> I like white people. I have a lot of white friends. That's what you say when you don't want people to think you're racist. <laughs> and I learned that from them, too. <laughs> No, but uh, they're cool. The only issue I have is sometimes when y'all get comfortable, you get too comfortable. And I hear things like, Ryan Webb, you black son of a bitch, give me a hug. And it's like, all right, well, I'll see you next Sunday, Pastor. <laughs> All right, look, I'm about to get out of here, but before I do, I see everyone's, you know, drinking and having a good time. Just get home safe, you know, don't get a DUI. It's not worth it. I've had a DUI. They're no fun. They're no laughing matter, but I did try to flirt my way out of the DUI. I did. I was like, officer, I don't mean any offense, but you have great tits. <laughs> yeah, he didn't appreciate that at all. My name is Ryan Webb. You guys are great.